What the hell was that? Hello fellow vapors, Vaping Newbie here, and we're going to be looking at some juice today from a new a new vendor, um, Backroads Vapes, uh, down in Texas. I'm international. And um, I met Angela on, on uh, Facebook, and uh, she's done some incredible things in a very, very short period of time. Uh, she has a, She's going to be opening up a brick and mortar in Texas. She deals on her Facebook page, so you've got to join her group, but I'll put the link for it down below. It is well worth it, and it's a good supportive group, so um, take a look. I mean, it really is worth it. Angela will deal with Canada as well as obviously the United States. And she has a really good menu of juices. But before I get to the video, I do want to discuss one thing. Um, you won't see any bottles. And the reason for that is uh, I have all my um, shipments come into my work. And the receiver put it on his hand truck. And as he's pushing it, it slid over. And he ran over it and um, destroyed the bottles. Lost some juice in the process. But I have most of the juice. But the bottles are so mangled, I, I, I think it's doing Angela an injustice to show it. But let me tell you, it is a basic uh, e-juice bottle, very clear labels, really well done with a, a nice, nice graphic by our good friend Joe. And um, it has the little, the little tips like this, which are, to me, so good because they work on every tank that you have. So um, I really like that. So, uh, Angela, great job there. She is going to develop a, web, a website, but it's not ready yet. But if you join her Facebook group, you'll know when it is. And uh, well worth the try. We're going to be looking at about five juices. And uh, let me give you a little uh, glimpse of what that menu is. What you can do is uh, obviously just pause that, take a look at some of the flavor profiles. I love, I love the names. And the flavor profiles are really tasty sounding. Uh, all her juices come in 60% PG, 40% VG, and they're available in 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams of nicotine. However, she can uh, tailor a, a nicotine level that may not be there um, if you request it. So uh, join that Facebook group. Again, well worth it. Before we even talk about the first juice, it has to be said, taste is subjective. What you like, I might not. And what I like, you might not. We keep that in mind, folks. Um, they, they are going to be uh, vaped in different tanks at different wattages. Uh, so as I go, I'll, I'll set that up. And uh, without further ado, let me get some uh, juice in a tank, and we'll get to the first one. Okay, the first juice I'm going to be talking about today, and I can actually show this bottle because uh, though it did leak some, um, the bottle is, in fact, intact. So you can see the label, really clear. Um, Backroads Vape, Sticky Buns is the name of the juice that I'm going to be looking at, and there's your PGVG ratio. Um, I was not able to locate the nicotine level, um, though this is a smaller bottle, so it may not be on it. But I know it's 3 milligrams of nicotine, and obviously you use 2 when you place your first order. Uh, Sticky Buns is absolutely freaking amazing. I guess spoiler alert should have been said first. I really like this. I don't like sweet vapes. And cinnamon sometimes annoys me. Uh, but Angela has done it right. Um, I've been vaping this. It was the, the first juice that I really de delved into. And it is really what they say it is. It tastes like a cinnamon roll. And you can smell, you can smell a baked goodness in it. But the cinnamon is so spot on, yet at the same time, sorry about that, folks, at the same time, it's not overpowering. And I'm sorry, I put this in my limo, it's 1.2 ohms, and I'm vaping it at about 22 watts. Um, it's really, really tasty, and it's not overly sweet. I don't like sweet vapes. This is probably the sweetest I've had, but it's not, like, you know, sugary. It is really good. So that is sticky buns, and uh, we've got some Texas sticky buns going on there. So let me change tanks and we'll get to our next juice. The next juice uh, is called Tangerine Sky. And I put it in my limo. Again, you think I like limo? 
And I have this one at 1.4 ohms, and I'm vaping it at 18 watts. I always wonder, if you're watching this video, I'm just sort of sitting back vaping. Anyhow, back to the juice. Angela, you did it right. When I got this juice, when I... And, and I've known Angela since the inception of her company. So when I saw Tangerine Sky come up, I thought, oh, another orange flavor vape. How wrong I was. It's not orange. It is, in fact, tangerine. It is, it is more tangerine -y than orange, and I really appreciate that. Um, it is all tangerine, uh, but it's light. It's not, uh, again, in-your-face tangerine. So Angela, just keep doing what you're doing, dear, because this is the shit. You know, so many times when I'm doing these overviews, sorry again, um, I say I, I don't believe in an all-day vape. And then I always find one, I say, damn, this could be close. This is one. I, I think to use it as an all-day vape, I'd have to cut it somewhat with maybe a pastry or a, uh, a cream type thing just to sort of separate it. But it is really, really good. Um, I'm so far impressed. I've tried two. And they've blown me away. So uh, let me get another tank out. That was Tangerine Sky. And so far, you got two thumbs up for Tangerine Sky. And, and I should have mentioned Sticky Buns as well was just really good. Let me get another tank going and uh, take a look at our next juice. So many times when I'm doing videos on juices, I say that there's a, a juice that gives me um, a challenge. And the next one is that juice uh, thus far. Anyhow, it is called Dark 30. It's a, it's a dark chocolate and mint vape. Uh, it's listed on the website as an Andes Mint. Now, um, being a Quebecer, I, I don't know if the rest of Canada has it, but being a Quebecer, I've never heard of Andes. But it tastes, for me, like after eight, which is what I grew up eating. Um, the problem is, I don't like chocolate vapes. Don't hate. And I'm not crazy about mint vapes, and this combines the two things. However, when I opened the bottle, the smell of chocolate was just gorgeous. I just, I like <laughs> the smell. I eat chocolate. Not a lot, but I eat chocolate. I just don't like vaping it. Uh, so I put it in my Atlantis. It's the point of 0 0.5 ohm coil. And I got it at 38 watts. I find that you get the chocolate on the inhale. And the linger is the mint. I can see me vaping this when it's time to want to cut too many citrus type vapes, if you know what I mean. If I want to cut that and, and change the direction of my taste buds, um, I could see me vaping this. It's really nice. And again, uh, so reminiscent for me of After Eights in both the aroma and the flavor. So nice job on that. That's called Dark 30. So if you're if you like chocolate or you like mints, you're going to like this. I, I, I'm sure of it. So let me change out the tanks. We're going to get to the next juice. The next juice up is called Skedaddle. And, you know, I just think when I was young, I used to watch westerns and, and, and whatnot. And it just sort of combined with Texas. And, and they'd be like, why don't you just skedaddle on down? And, and thank you, Angelo, because it really, really makes me smile. Skedaddle is a Skittles-flavored vape. Uh, I put it in my Squape uh, Reloaded clone. It's a 0.8 ohm coil, uh, and I have it at 22 watts. It is that fruity candy. It is really, you know, I, I, I really just, I wish somebody would send me a baddie juice because it sounds like I go over the top. Angela, you're nailing these flavors. Now, you know what, because Angela is, 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 is a friend and I'm, I'm doing her vapes, I challenge anybody that's here that, you know, if you're in the Backroads Vape uh, Facebook group, uh, you've tried her juice, you tell me if I'm wrong or right. You write it down below in the comments because uh, I don't want people to think that I'm being prejudiced by my friendship. This is just a really good vape. It, it just, it has everything about it that makes me think of Skittles. And the thing that I like the most about it, again, I, and you know, I, 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 I hate keep on repeating myself, but 
it's just that it's not overly sweet. And, and I think I get tired of that real quick, but I don't think so in this case. Let me dial this up a bit. Let me, uh, I've got a bit of room to breathe here. Let me put that up to 30 watts. Just really, really tasty. I'm so glad that I've tried it. And, and it's funny because I was having a conversation with Angela when they arrived. And she said, you know, try this one first. And, and sorry, Angela, I didn't take your recommendation. I'm trying the ones I wanted to try first because I knew the one you picked was right down my flavor alley. So I wanted to, to get out of that comfort zone. And she said, just put a dot on your finger and lick it. And I'm getting a few kickbacks of juice from the uh, from the um, Squape Reloaded. Uh, I guess it's my build has to be changed. And... Um, it tastes really good, so I'm enjoying it. So it's it's probably not good for you. You shouldn't be drinking this liquid in any straight in any way, shape, or form. But uh, it's just that tasty. Um, I'm really enjoying this. So uh, I got one more to do on this video, and uh, let me change out the tanks and get to that final juice. Oh come on, tell me you didn't think this was going to happen. Okay, uh, the final juice in this video is drizzle, and I put this in my rose clone and. Uh, which is at 1.1 ohms, and I'm vaping it at 25 watts. Um, this is uh, listed as a pralines and cream with a drizzle, hence the name, of caramel. Um, it's nice. It's uh, definitely not my favorite of the five. Having said that, again, she's accomplished what she's setting out to try in a flavor palette. However, um, and it might just be me, I find that the caramel, if it's there, it's very, very subdued. I'm not picking it out. And um, the reason why I wanted to use the rose was because of my tanks. It probably is the most flavorful, so I really wanted to segregate that uh, caramel flavor because um, the first, I don't know, three months that I was vaping, caramel was my go-to flavor. And uh, I sort of missed it in this one. Um, but, you know, uh, that again, it's a subjective thing. It's what I find. So, um, Angela, overall, uh, four out of five are just spectacular. Not good, spectacular. I'm really enjoying them. And uh, the fifth, it might just be a, a matter of my taste buds. Um, and, and keep in mind that I'm saying one is spectacular and it's a mint chocolate, which is two of the evil things in vaping for me. So uh, damn fine job there, Angela. Um, I want to also point out, I want to take this time and, and, and you know what? You can't take me seriously like this. Not that you take me any more seriously like this, but what the hell? It is my uh, uniform. Um, Overall, Angela, you really, really impressed the hell out of me. Uh, these juices are absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. Um, but, folks, I want to make sure I, that you understand it's not all about juice. Angela also sells hardware. Pardon me. She has sub tanks. She has IPVs. She has the Eagle Ones. She has all this hardware to sell as well. Um, but the updates on her hardware are on her Facebook page. So you really want to join in on that. And then I would have to assume when she goes online, they'll be available there too. So, uh, Angela, I just want to wish you all the very best. I think you're off to a damn good start. You started you started the right way. You started with developing a juice line, your own juice line, and this is really good. Um, and now now you're into the hardware. Look at you. Uh, so that's it. Now, before I leave, some, something I've been doing lately is, uh, because I've been getting into dripping, is I choose one of the juices and I put it in my uh, dripper. It's a Mutation X at uh, point five uh, ohms and um, I'm vaping it at 65 watts and I chose skedaddle you know it's funny because I think there was this thought that another juice that we'll look at in a, in a future video was going to be my favorite but thus far skedaddle is just wow I'm really enjoying it Again, Angela, very good. And I want to thank you for sending, out, sending me out these juices. I enjoyed reviewing them. Uh, the names are a lot of fun. Folks, please go join the group. It's a, it's a really great group of people. I, if you need help, they can help you. Uh, and if you just want to find out about products, they got that too. So join in. Uh, folks, you know I like uh, spending time with you. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, always great to have you over. Stay healthy and happy vaping.
Take care, folks.